All right, hey, it's Chill here again. Um, I was trying to do a Fenmar build for level cap disruption, and I had a terrible, terrible weapon. So I looked up on Overframe some pretty good weapons for level cap, and it turns out Fenmar is really good. Now, Fenmar you get from the Chrysalith, and the Chrysalith, in order, in order to get it, you actually have to rank up, which means you need a lot of Void Blooms. And then in order to make the Fenmore, you actually need even more Void Blooms. And so I decided to make a tutorial because I had an awful time doing this. Now, I'll run through it pretty quick. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and answer it as best as I can. So first things first, you'll notice that the frame I'm running is Zaku. The reason why is because Zaku has a four that blows everything up like boxes. And that allows you to pick up Intradi Lanthorns, Void Gel Orbs, and any other loot that you can find on the um, Zaraman area and so when you run through everything within 70 meters pretty much just blows up and you can tell because i build it for range and efficiency now having prime flow and preparation is important because it allow you to start at full energy so you can run through the map blow things up and then you can subsume mag's pull uh onto them and put on the greedy pull augment which will pull all the loot to you now when you jump up in the air and press your four and then you press your one, it'll pull everything towards you, but it won't actually pull through walls. So that's why you wanna make sure you bring a companion with uh, fetch or vacuum and then prime animal instinct to see things through walls. What's actually really cool is prime animal instinct shows the void plumes that are on the ground. So you can actually blow everything up and pick it up until the point where you see something that isn't getting blown up and you know that's a void plume. So you can go pick it up. And that's how I get all eight or 10 or whatever many void plumes on the ground every single mission. And my team always loves me so much. Definitely, 100%, you should ask them. Anyway, um, you'll notice in the footage that I show you, I'm actually running a Volt build. And the reason why is because I always, always, always recommend you run Exterminate. And the reason why you wanna run Exterminate is because when you're running the mission, you actually go through 60 to 70% of the map and that allows you to go into those big open rooms where you find the Void Angels. And those Void Angels are what really gives you the Void Plume Pinions, which are the ones you need to craft things and level up. So pretty important. And making a nuke build like this build that I have here means that you can walk into any room, press four, everything dies. And that's insane because that means you can run through the room, press your four, just run through another room, press your four. Now it won't, it won't break all the boxes like Zaku will, but still pretty good. Um, and same thing, you wanna make sure you have flow and preparation to get start with max energy. One of the big things I recommend is always having a strong melee. I've been starting to favor heavy attack builds more because you can just pull them out and use them. You don't need to worry about combo counter or anything. And so the build that I have is actually a pennant. And you'll notice this says Riptide, I, I renamed it. And this is the build. My Riven is pretty standard. It's not too great, but it's a critical chance and plus range, so that means I can hit more enemies. And the reason why I take the pennant over the Tatsu is the passive ability for the attack speed to be increased for every heavy attack that you deal damage with or get a kill with. Now that we've covered that, I'll go over the focus school that we'll be running. So basically, when you go to your operator, you want to make sure you are running the matter eye focus and the reason why is because you'll notice there's an ability called void strike that consumes all energy and increases your damage there is also inner gaze which allows you to increase your damage even more and the reason why is because you will be entering void mode or you'll be entering a void area where you have to take down the void angel shields in order to kill them so make sure you bring matter eye and then one cool thing about that matter eye ability that i spoke about is that when you use Eternal Onslaught as your Arcane for your amp, in this case a 777 amp, um, the energy depletion will actually give you the 180% critical chance, and that's insane damage. So make sure you're constantly proccing this and using that ability in order to get the most damage possible. Alright, now that I've shown you all of the builds, uh, we'll go ahead and get started on the footage. Thank you. 
And once you get the hang of it, your runs start looking more and more like this. that was of some help to some of you and I hope that made void plume farming a lot easier I know it was definitely a lot easier for me once I figured this out so good luck with those incarnate weapons and have a good rest of your day <laughs>